Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to take a look at the Hyatoys Judge Dredd Mean Machine Angel figure. Welcome to the party, pal. All right, let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've looked at a couple of these now. And it is a, it looks like it's their standard uh, Judge Dredd packaging. It has the badge or the shield in the background behind the figure. There is a figure stand back there. It doesn't look like this figure comes with any other accessories except for the stand. Um, the figure is right up front. Let's see here. There is a, a rendering there from the comic book of the character. And then the back is pretty standard, not much there. Hyatt Toys, 2080, Hyatt Toys. There's the Judge Dredd. Um, it is a, in their exquisite mini line. There's not much to this packaging. I do like it though. Um, if you're a mint on card collector, this is probably not the easiest one to store because of the shape of the packaging, but I am not for this line. So we're gonna rip it open and see what we got. All right, guys, so here is the Mean Machine Angel out of packaging, and here is his figure stand. I was correct, there are no other accessories that come with this figure, just the figure stand and the two connecting H or I parts, pieces. It is a very nice stand. It's well-painted, well-sculpted. Um, they do connect. I've found that the figures don't necessarily need a stand to stand up, but I know if you have them on a shelf or anything, um, it is nice that they include this. There is one peg on the stand. Now here is the figure and I've had him out for about five minutes now and he is a pretty good figure. Um, he's not without his flaws, but I think his, his positives outweigh his negatives. So let's start with the positives. Um, this guy's got a great sculpt he's got great paint applications and the subject matter you know this guy's a bad guy this looks bad he's obviously from judge dread so he's a science fiction type character but i can also see this guy being used as um in your gi joe or your eagle force riot guys maybe he's in a experiment he's a soldier um, a failed experiment a failed soldier experiment um, you know, maybe he works in Dr. Mindbender's lab. Uh, so I think he can, you can use him in your sort of military aspect. You can use him in obviously your science fiction. And he's such a unique character. There's not too many characters with one arm that are big robot arms like this cyborg type characters. But he's got great paint, all the shading in, throughout his clothing. He's got chest hair, that facial hair. He's got that little beard on him. He even looks like he's his uh, his back to his front. I think he's got a little sunburn, a little suntan. It's a little bit different, just like you usually get if you're working outside or you have no shirt on. You're out in the sun all day. A lot of shading throughout his pants. He's got some boots on. Nice metal on the boots there and the shin. Very nice. Um, in particular, the sculpting and the painting of the robot arm. The different metal there. Very nice. Very nice. Got some scrapes. Let's see there's some damage. He's used this arm. He's, you know, he's, he's done some damage with this arm. He's probably committed some crimes with this arm, right? Yeah, he's definitely a bad guy. That that grimace on that face there. Got some teeth showing. So those are really the strong points of this figure. Um, I'm going to go our, over articulation now, and that's where he sort of, he lacks a bit. You know, he's all, and it's not just because he's missing an arm, because he is missing that arm there. This one does come up. Um, he's got a ball hinged um, head, neck. Um, it gets you a little good down. Not so much up. But it can go, you know, a nice tilt, so you can get some emotion out of that head there. Um, he has a diaphragm crunch and a waist swivel. So you 
and kind of get him twisted there. Um, he does sport what I think is now become a standard with the Haya Toys figures is he does have a drop down hip. This one is very slight. It's not quite as much as the dreads, um, but it is there. So he does have a drop down hip. He's got a double hinged knee and a rocker or pivot ankle. Nothing, no boot cut, no thigh cut. Um, this arm, it's pretty cool, but it is also lacking. He has a uh, swivel shoulder, so this shoulder does not come out. That's about as far as it can go. Um, he's got a hinged elbow that also spins. He's got what I'm going to call fingers here that do articulate up and down and they articulate separately. So you can move those. But that's about it. Um, it goes up pretty high, it spins around, but no, it doesn't come out. Um, and I think that's that hurts the figure a bit because you're limited a bit in how you can pose him. I did uh, have been posing him a bit and he does look really good and you still can get him in a few dynamic poses because of his ankles. But this arm is a little heavy. He's left a little bit lopsided when you try to do too much with that arm um, or get it too far out in front of him or over him um, because he doesn't have the counterbalance of the other arm. And this one is a bit bigger and heavier than the other. So it takes, it's a little bit of a challenge to get him in a, in a really dynamic pose um, because of the limited articulation and then the sort of the weight of the figure. But you can do it. You can do it. It just takes a little bit more time. Um, so you got to have a little bit of patience, but you can do it if you try, if you really want it, you know, you, you can, you can do it. Um, but that is probably the, the biggest drawback. Now I think it's okay with this figure because he's so unique and that's, that's the thing about this guy. He, all the paint, all the sculpt, the subject matter of who he is, how different he looks. There's not too many um, cyborg type one-armed bad guys running around, um, you know, in science fiction, in, in any kind of fantasy world. This is one of the only ones. And I think that alone is makes him worth getting. Now this guy is $19.99. Um, you can pick him up at Big Bad Toy Store, uh, but he's also on the Hyatt Toys Amazon website. And he's on, you know, Locker Toys, um, Cool Toys. You can find him, you know, at the Hyatt Toys website anywhere. Um, and he's 20 bucks. And I think the 20 is, for this guy, it's not bad. You know, all of the Judge Dredd stuff's pretty much $19.99. This guy's not any different. Um, but I do think he's worth it because of the uniqueness of him. Um, you can, you know, he's got just enough articulation. But this, the subject matter, the sculpt, the paint, it does make this guy worth picking up. So I can recommend him. All right, before we go, let's take a quick look, uh, some size comparisons here. So let's stand this guy up right here in the middle. Let's put his arm down. Kind of just stand him there. When he's in a, in a sort of static neutral pose, he's pretty easy to stand up. It's just when you have that arm kind of leaning out of around him. Here is a Fortnite figure. Here is a Star Wars Vintage Collection figure. Um, here's a Joy Toy Padre figure. Let's put Padre right there. So you can see he's right in line. Let's get Anubis out here because Anubis is going to be bigger. This is a Acid Rain Annex 2179 Anubis. If I can get Anubis. Oh, let's get Anubis out there. He's a little bit taller than everybody. Whoa, but he is a, a larger figure. This is Padre. Uh, we've got, uh, I think it's Baron Von Chill from the Eagle Force. You can see he's just four inches. He's right there at four inches. And here's the modern Texas Ranger that I just opened up from Chicken Fried Toys, Dime Novel Legends. 
and you can see they all match up pretty well. Um, let's let's take the hat off him because that gives him a little bit more height than he actually is. So you can see he's right about four inches. Um, I think the only figure smaller than him. Well, actually, he's a little bit shorter. He's a little bit shorter than Baron Von Chill there. And he's a four inch, and so is the Ranger. So he's just a tad taller than the Boba Fett, which is a 3.75. Uh, but he's just right in line, guys. He's he's perfect size. He's 118. He's 375. He's, he's perfect. Um, he's going to fit right into your world building and whatever else you're doing. Um, except for, you know, Anubis, of course, is bigger. All right. Well, that is the overview of the Judge Dread Mean Machine Angel. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's a very good figure. I can recommend him, like I said. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to take some photos now of him. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.